I can't spend too much on inks, but I love switching up the colors in a pen quite often. Because of this, I mix my inks. If you were to recommend a selection of just four or five inks for the maximum range of colors, what would they be? And does diluting an ink with water work to brighten it, or does the color look washed out? Okay, so you got two questions in here, and I will start off with the first one. So I think if you were just trying to get the maximum color range as possible with as few colors as you could, there's a good formula for doing that that the printing industry has been using for years. It's called CMYK. So it's cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And essentially you can get whatever color you want by mixing those four colors. Okay, so that's really what I would recommend. Um, I think Noodlers has a few, uh, few, and then uh, Diatramentus has a few that would also work. So I'm gonna recommend Noodlers for kind of your normal inks, and then the Atramentus ones for your document, your permanent inks. Um, and then the Noodlers ones are a, a much better price per milliliter, so that's why I'll start off with those if you wanna mix it up, because it seems like you know price is more of a factor for you. Um, so for Cyan, uh, which is the blue color, Noodler's Navajo Turquoise, I think is a really great cyan color and great properties to that ink. Uh, magenta would be the Noodler's Shaw's Rose. Yellow would be Noodler's Yellow, and then black, Noodler's Black. Or it could be Heart of Darkness, whatever. But I think Noodler's Black would be pretty good. And those are all mixable inks with each other. You can mix and match them to whatever ratio you want. Of course, Noodler's Black does have a permanent, you know, is permanent, so the black component would be permanent in whatever your mixture is, but you obviously wouldn't mix too much Noodler's Black in there because then it would just look black. So if you want to mix a little bit of black, you could, but those four would get you to whatever color that you are looking to get to. Um, of course, you'd play around with that quite a bit. Um, so then if you wanted to go with the Diatramentus documents for more the, a, a truly permanent mixture, um, you could do document turquoise for the cyan, the fuchsia for magenta document, yeah excuse me, yellow for the yellow color and document black for black. So pretty straightforward. Um, and then I can't give you any specific formulas for doing that CMYK mixture, but uh, my parents actually worked in the printing industry for most of when I was a child. So I actually grew up being pretty familiar with four color presses and five color presses and things like that. Um, so I would, uh, I have memories of when my parents had a print shop and I would, this is when I was in middle school, uh, I never did this when they were around, but I would uh, ride around on a pallet jack like it was a scooter, you know, like one of those huge pallet jacks, and I would ride around the print shop on a pallet jack at pretty high speeds around these like million dollar presses. <laughs> and now that I think back on it, I'm like, oh my gosh, if I had like crashed into one of those things, I could have sunk my parents' business, but I never did, so we're all good. Um, but anyway, weird memories I have from growing up in a print shop. Uh, but anyway, so that's where we're at. So that's kind of the way to do the mixture. Um, and then specifically, you're talking about diluting the ink or brightening it or whatever. Um, if you just use just plain water, it's not really gonna brighten it up. It'll really just dilute it. It'll so it'll it'll wash out the color, kind of what you're describing. So, um, if you want to actually brighten up the ink and make it a, a lighter color without giving it just that more of a watery look, um, you would use a white ink. So um, on the Noodler side, you have the whiteness of the whale. So say you have a red color and you want to make it a lighter pink color, you would add white to it, and that would help to make it still a vibrant color, but just lighter in, in tone than you would if you just added water. If you had water, it wouldn't really change the color, the hue of the ink a lot. Um, it would just kind of wash it out and make it less saturated. So, uh, and then on the Diatramensis has a document white ink as well that you could mix with the others and get kind of the same effect. So, um, the other option too is Diatramensis actually has a dilution liquid so the dilution liquid is meant to have, it's essentially a clear ink. It's a clear permanent ink, if that makes sense. So it allows you to dilute the ink without making it more watery. It doesn't necessarily help in terms of making it brighter, but it does keep the permanence and keeps the flow and the quality of the ink to be consistent. Whereas if you're using just water, it's gonna change the flow and wetness and stuff like that, more so than if you use an actual dilution liquid. So that's kind of what that's for. But in uh, that Diatramentis dilution liquid, um, it's made for the Diatramentis inks, but I've seen other people use it with other inks too, with some varying degrees of success. So um, that's something experimental that you would do, but uh, yeah, that would be my recommendation. We'll go with CMYK, a couple different color options for you here. 
Um, this isn't something, now that I think about it, it's not something we've ever had set up as a package set on our site. But now that I think about it, for you uh, ink mixo files, uh, it might be something of interest to you. So let me know in the comments if this is really like, if you're like, oh my gosh, this is changing my world, can I please get a set? You know, we could probably put a set together with these CMYK colors and then, you know, offer some sample vials and ink syringes and stuff like that. Maybe with some pen flush or something, I don't know. Um, we could put a, a little set together. I'll give that some thought. I don't know, I'll talk to Rachel. We could even have it set up soon, but um, it's something that if there was interest, I'd be open to that.